Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to wish you a very happy new year and I would also like to take this time to thank all of you who have supported and continued with me on this particular journey. A lot of you have shared what I've created for you, which really gives me immense happiness. And I'm very happy that a lot of you have supported me through your emails, through your contribution and through your subscriptions. And I, I will try my best to produce such kind of uh, informational videos for you in the upcoming year as well. Another purpose of this video is to introduce a different way to code the Navier-Stokes solver using the simple algorithm. So it was pointed out on the Telegram group chat that the code that I posted earlier, it was not converging for high Reynolds number cases. So I would like to present a different way to code the same algorithm so that it could be more stable for high Reynolds number flows. So this is the code uh, that I presented in the last lecture. So I have just changed the Reynolds number here and I'm using a slightly lower values of under relaxation factors. And if I try to run this particular code, I would see that the code would break after only a few time steps. And that is because we were correcting the velocities using the under relaxations here. So if you want to run the simple algorithm codes for high Reynolds number, you have to under relax these U star and V star as well. So if I switch to the revised version of the code, so again, I have exactly the same parameter for the code. So what I'm doing now is rather than saying that this particular expression is U star, I call this as U star mid, just like a intermediate value for U star. And then I define U star to be as alpha times the U star mid and one minus alpha times the U, which is the old value. So I'm sort of taking a weighted average of U and this U star mid. And this alpha determines how much of a fraction of this U star mid that I want to use for the U star. So to summarize, U star is not directly evaluated from the finite volume method. We evaluate this mid value of U star and U star is then defined from the weighted average of U and this U star mid. So that is one change that we do. The second change is again, because we are changing U star in this fashion, we make the same change for the V star. So we define a V star mid. So this particular expression, this particular expression here, this is exactly the same expression for the previous V star in the previous code. So I define that as V star mid, and then I take a weighted average of V star mid and V. And note that the weight for this V star mid is alpha. So it means that if my alpha is 0.01, then it means that I'm only assigning a weight of 0.01 to V star mid and then 0.99 is the weight for the V. Subsequently, my boundary conditions remain the same. My pressure correction loop remains exactly the same. The correction of pressure remains exactly the same. The final change is that previously I was defining uh, alpha for the velocity here. So there was no under relaxation for the velocity previously, but we were only using the velocity corrections in the correction formula. And now we are using this uh, velocity correction in the U star definition and not in the corrections. So I only remove this alpha that was appearing here. So rather than writing alpha times DE, I just simply write it as DE. And same for the V nu, that V nu is defined directly from the correction. Because the idea here is that the correction already has this under relaxation built in, and therefore we don't need to relax it further. So with these changes, now if I run the code here, so I have 51 points and a Reynolds number of 1000, you would see that the code would not crash. And because this is a higher Reynolds number case, so it would take slightly longer to get the converged solution. You can try this particular uh, variation of this simple algorithm for higher Reynolds number. I have tested this code for a Reynolds number of up to 5,000 and it works just fine. 
So give it a shot. I would put the link to the code uh, again in the description of this video so that you can access the code and you can also compare both of the codes. So again, that this is not a variation of simple algorithm. This is only a variation of how the code is getting implemented to get the stable result. Because in my previous video, I mentioned that simple algorithm is very prone to these unstable solutions. So we have to use some sort of relaxation. So this is an example of how you can use relaxation in two different ways. And I hope that you will learn uh, application of uh, under relaxation for your numerical schemes. With this, I hope that uh, in the coming few days, I would start uh, uploading videos regarding uh, unsteady flow solutions, which in which we would take an example of uh, unsteady lid driven cavity. And what that means is that rather than the lid going in one direction, the lid would be sort of oscillating. And finally, you can see on my screen that uh, the code has provided us the solution. And here you can see the U velocity contour for the Reynolds number 1000 case. So give it a shot for a high Reynolds number and see up to what values you can get the code working. And not to mention that if you use a high Reynolds number, your under relaxation factor might go down. So you only need a lesser weight for the U star mid and V star mid. So with that in mind, I hope that you can work it out. And until then, when I will talk about the unsteady flow solvers, please take care of yourself. And once again, a very happy new year.